Hey guys, it's about beer 30. Let's take a walk into the kitchen and see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We're going to continue our Star Hill variety pack that they have sent me. Uh, this is number three out of the four that they have sent me. This is their Grateful Pale Ale Remastered. Uh, a fresh spin on the American Pale Ale with prettier hop aroma, more citrus hop flavor, and a smoother full of body. But this is a session beer coming in at 4.7%. Date on this one says 0608 of 2017. Uh, not a month old yet, uh, about three weeks old as a matter of fact, uh, and the untapped has it, uh, says here, their description says, to remaster Grateful Pale Ale, Carafoam and Torfied Wheat were added to the malt bill for fuller, fuller mouth bill. A revamped hot bill features Cascade, Mosaic, Centennial, and Falconer's Flight in the kettle and dry hop replacing Chinook, Topaz, and Columbus. The new hot varieties, in particular Mosaic and Centennial, bring out more fruit and citrus notes in the beer. The enhanced aroma and flavor are due in large part to the hot bursting technique utilized in other recent pale ale releases from Star Hill, most notably Northern Lights IPA and Reviver Red IPA. So, uh, let's see what it brings to the table. Let's get it open and see what it is. Guys, like I tell you all the time, these less than 5% beers usually don't have a lot of taste or enough taste for this guy but well, we shall see what this one brings to the table we will reserve judgment until I uh, get a get a taste of it. Cuisine is Pan-Asian, cheese of the earthy camera, work Fontina, your nutty cheeses, Asiago Colby, uh, Parmesan tangy, brick Adam feta, meat is poultry, glass water pint, becker not a tumbler mug, sign Seidel, I'm using my favorite tulip glass, a solid beer glass and not recommended for extended salary. About a finger of head, a nice amber color to the nose. Big hop profile. Smells very, very hoppy, guys. Definitely a super hoppy pale ale. I'm pleasantly surprised by the aroma. Smells very nice. And if I was blindfolded, I would probably swear this is an IPA. But according to what we have here on Untapped, they are telling us well, I thought they were. I'm not seeing it. Yep, it's 45 IBUs on this, so low bitterness on the beer, according to the IBUs. Nice and wonderful, very citrusy. Hints of some uh, grapefruit and pineapple. Nice and tropical fruit notes. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, everybody at Star Hill. Very, very nice. Very pleasant taste. Nice hop profile. This and with the low bittering of 45 IBUs, this would be uh, probably a good one to, to, to get into if you want to try maybe a hoppy beer. Uh, but you didn't but you don't want to get into an IPA, which sometimes has uh, twice the bitter units that this beer does. So it's not going to be too bitter on your palate, but you're still going to get that hop profile. Uh, a good one to start off with uh, to get into a, a hoppy beer. But like I said, it's only 4.7% alcohol, so it's a session beer. A lot of hop flavor there for a session pale ale. Very nice. Reminds me a little of uh, Sierra Nevada's pale. But theirs is a little bit more potent than a 4.7, if I recall. It's in the 5 or 6s. So, well, it's pretty damn tasty. I'm impressed with this. Uh, a lot of taste for 
100% pale ale session beer, if you will. Well, let me let her taste it, sip on it for a little bit, and I'll be right back. Hi, right, guys, I'm back. Got a little left here. Very flavorful pale ale. It is. It's not definitely, and on top of that, it's a session beer. It's less than a 5%. A lot of taste and aromas on this beer. It's very, very enjoyable. A very nice lot more beer for a pale ale that's very hoppy. Final chug. This is very tasty, guys. A lot of hot flavor to this beer. Very impressive for a 4.7% uh, pale ale. Very, very hoppy. Very nice. So far, this is the third one out of the four they sent me. This has been the best one so far. Uh, I honestly don't think it's to the A category, but it is definitely a B plus. And I'm going to give this. Got the date on it. Got the ABV on it. Very tasty. Very hoppy. A very nice beer. A great lot more beer, if you will. And that's what I call these session beers. Nothing derogatory about that. It's something less than 5% that you can come in and have one, maybe two, and go back outside and do what you were doing or, or whatever. Even if it's inside. Uh, it's a nice summertime beer. It really is. And a good beer to get into a hoppy beer that doesn't have the bitterness that most IPAs have. So, that's where we're going to leave it. Uh, B plus for me. Uh, 88, that's where I'm going to put this. Uh, over to uh, Beer Advocate, they do not even have this beer listed. Whether the old one or even this one, the remastered, it's not even listed uh, on their site. For, I'm looking at everything they've got listed for uh, Star Hill, and it's not there. It goes from the uh, East, East Coast IPAs to the Hot Buzz Coffee. There's no F's or G's even listed for the Star Hill beers. So they're out on this one, and we're not using Untapped anymore. So, I mean, uh, break beer anymore. Untapped, final check-in, we got them at 3.6, which is in not quite to their B-plus category, but definitely in their B category. I think it's a little tastier than that, especially this remastered, and Untapped has it listed as the remastered. A very nice Pale Ale, guys. So, if you've had the brand new edition, the remastered Grateful Pale Ale, let me know what you think. I enjoyed this one. This is the best one of the three so far. we got one more to do. On back tomorrow. Let's go see what's in the fridge.